This video is brought to you by Stone Master. What up, what up everyone? This is your boy Kevin back again. First of all, I hope everyone's doing good and thank you for being here. Today I got another smartwatch that we're going to review. In front of me, I got the Umidagi um, uh, U Watch 3. The cost of this is around $30. If you decide that you want to buy this watch after this video, the cheapest place that I found it, it was on AliExpress. You can pick it up from Amazon or eBay. What we're going to do today, we're going to unbox this. We're going to go see how is the quality on it and what kind of features this watch have, what's the good things about it and what's the bad things about it. But before we start this video guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you press the bell at the bottom so every time I make a new video, you get a reminder. This watch is actually water resistant and this is what they're advertising. This is how the box looks like. Very nice box. Umidagi has really nice boxes, but their phones are not that good. Now let's see how the actual um, uh, smart watches they make. Open it, throw this away. Let's take this out, let's see what's inside here. Actually cables. I don't know what that is, throw that away. Then you get a manual book right there. Let's see, what is it there? So it's in English, Chinese, and French. We're gonna go through these in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys all the settings on this watch. Throw that away. Let's see this. I think that's the charging cable. Throw that away. Yeah, this is charging cable is one of those magnet chargings. I like the magnet one, you don't have to plug it in. Obviously, obviously it's water resistance too, so it has to be magnet. Let's pull this out. Throw all these away. That's how the watch looks like, guys. It looks like an Apple watch. Pretty heavy, it's not that light. Let's see the charging thing. Let me show you guys. Let it go this way. That's how you charge it. So you stick this in any um, a USB plug. That's how easy it is. So now let's put it on. Let's see how it feels. Feels pretty good, but I can feel it that's in my arm. It's not like the other um, review that I did on the V19 smartwatch. That one was an amazing smartwatch for the price. I couldn't even feel that smartwatch being on my um, on my wrist. And that one had so many features, guys. If you're looking for a really good smartwatch, you should check out my video on that one. But this one looks pretty good. Now let's pull that out. That's where it monitors everything, your heart rate, your running, your steps, and everything. Let's see the front. Let's see the touch screen on it. Oh, touch, touch screen is pretty sensitive. It looks pretty good. Now let's go through the manual book and go through all the settings and let's see the features this watch has, what is good and what is bad. And let's go. So this is the manual book. It's got English, French and Chinese. So you can hook it up to, uh, to Android and Apple and it's running on Android 4.4. So you can go through all these. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. This is the app that you have to download. It's called Very Pro. Let's go here. Obviously, uh, I haven't logged in. I haven't set it up. You have to log in, set up your information so you can track yourself uh, all the way through. I'm just going to go through just uh, the settings for you guys. So you got for home. So you can set up your mileage and activity. Then you go for uh, details. So there's your details. You got your fat burning, your heart rate, and etc. For device. So you can go through these. Set up your car alert, your... Uh, Alarm alert, your uh, MSN, so if you're driving, get an MSN, it shows you on the watch, or uh, you got a, somebody calls you and you get a call reminder on your uh, watch. Then you got your healthcare and more. Then you got your users, so to, you can set up your today's ranking, your target, and your personal information, your system settings, and etc. So you can go through all these and set it up the way that suits you. Then here, it's, it's got only one button. I'll show you guys how that button works. This watch is a uh, touch screen. So you got your uh, status bar, you got your uh, notice bar, your function list, and you got your data bar. Then you got your running, you got your heart rate, and you got your relaxation. You got your uh, time, you got your control music. So you can control your music or you at the gym or you're running. You have your time, you got your records. And you can go through all these and uh, shows you exactly what to do with the watch, how to run it, and etc. And this watch, it is water resistant. You can go to swimming with it, you can wash dishes with it, go to the shower, nothing can happen. And I actually did a water test on this watch. Let's go look at it. 
I'm actually gonna take this watch now. I'm gonna drop it in water so we can do an actual water test on it. I'm gonna leave it in there for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes now. I'm gonna pull it out. Let's see if it's working. Wow, it still works. So water test is good to go. So this is uh, what you get in the front. You go to the left and the touch screen works really good on it. So you got your sports. So you can do your uh, running, your walking. I actually uh, went out and I used it and I tried the walking and this is how it works. I'm gonna do the walking, see how it works. For 10 minutes and it's telling me my heart rate. Let's go to the left. How many steps I took, that's crazy and how much calories I burned. I'm actually been using it for 45 minutes and the battery already core is done. Then you go up, then you got your bicycle, you got your hiking, you got your climbing, you got your treadmill. If you press it again, it brings you back to this. There's your heart rate. You can track your heart rate. Then you got your relaxation. You can press it. Then you got your clock. Then you got your music control. You got your timer. You can time yourself. Stop. Go. Press it again. You got your settings. So you got your dial. So you can have any of these styles in the front. Whatever that you like. Press it again. Now you can adjust your front brightness. So you can go one, two, three. And you go to about. Press it again. Go up and you can shut it down. If I press this right now, if I press OK, it's going to shut the uh, watch right out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the settings for the watch. It does not have any more that I can show you guys. Let's see my opinion about this watch for the price. There is a bad thing about this watch and the bad thing is, is the battery. Honestly, the uh, watch was full when I went out. And uh, after, uh, I think 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that, the battery quarter of it was gone. So the battery on this uh, watch, it is not that good. So don't depend on it charging it and going all day with it or the next day, it is not gonna work. Make sure you have the charger always with you. That is the only bad thing I could find about this watch. Touch screen works really good on it. If you go left, you go right, works really good. It's not those cheap touch screens. You have to press it really hard. And it did pass the water test. So, so if you're a swimmer, or, uh, or you work in an environment that uh, you deal with a lot of water, this watch can actually um, uh, pass the water and dust resistance. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget, please, to give this video a thumbs up, and I'm gonna catch you guys on my next video, so peace out for now.